things I've just picked up over the last couple of years. Yeah, knowing your game, staying fit, making sure that I play all cricket, four day cricket, uh, Pro 40 and the 2020. Once you've got a decent about form behind you, you just carry on that role through, through throughout the year. Last year was a bit more expectation on myself, but I, it just drives me on even more. Really, it's a good motivational aspect to your game to keep on proving everyone uh, that you know you're good enough and to do well for for Worcester. Professional cricketers, you should have a decent technique, and keeping my technique simple has worked for me, so I keep it like that. But it's more of a game plan, taking it, taking it a bit further, working out your game plan to certain bowlers, certain scenarios. So you have to be play as the game suits. The MMI gives me, you know, that good, that good bit of confidence because I know as soon as I do get back to ball, the ball normally travels a lot quicker and further than it would have done before. I think giving that, uh, giving me that bit of confidence means that I am playing sort of within where, within my talent now. I've been enjoying using it. Really enjoyed using it. A lot of people try to change their uh, the way they bowl, or reducing taking the pace off, or some people going halfway down and trying to bump me out. But yeah, I've. So I've seen to sort of cope in any condition really. Um, using the MMI with a with a bouncer, I have more confidence. Um, using even four day cricket gives me more confidence. Uh, gives me more hand speed, generate more hand speed, so it actually makes it a lot easier playing against shorter bowlers. To be fit, you know, get over the knee oppression I had, but to be fit for the start of the season and then carry on as I was in 2011 and make sure that Worcester win something this year and stay up and compete for the, the championship. Uh, we've made some good signings. Um, Phil Hughes would be a great attribute to our side uh, at the top of the order and hopefully we can get Saeed Ajmal back for a period during the year too.